Hello, this is Kadeem. Um, I'm here to make this video. So, if you actually have like an IP problem, and you need to speed it up just a little bit, well, here's a method that you can do it. So I'm going to show you um, a method to my computer of how to speed up the IP. And I know that a lot of people have problems with that. So I'm going to show you right here. So, I wrote it down here. Obviously, this is like a, like a, the way you're supposed to, the, the words that you're supposed to use. Maybe I can get it clearer. Yeah, it's called services. Dot M S C. So I'm going to use that on my computer right now. Let me see if I can kind of show you. If this wasn't so bright, um, huh, I think I have to fix the webcam settings to right light to this way you can see it. Okay. So, I'm running Windows 10, right? I do have some girls on my profile, but I just have to, just to have fun, I guess. This is actually my girl's profile, whatever. I'm actually using a Logitech mic camera. Okay, so you go to start. You click run. And then, once you see that, I'm going to put services dot m -C -S -C, right? So then you open that. You're going to come to a window like this. Now, the best thing for you to do is to only mess with that and nothing else. So you go down to you see services. All right, just make sure that, hold on, give me a second. Go down, down, until you see IP and NetBIOS helper. Then you right click that, put properties. And right now it's set to automatic, but it'll mainly be on manual. You set it to automatic and it should speed up your IP address faster if you really need any problems. So, there you go. And then you just X that out. Just remember a TP slash IP net helper. I think you can see that right there. And press run. And it should be able to speed up your IP. Um, it'll do like, uh, uh, you'll see a big difference. I don't know if it actually does a full difference because I haven't been recording on OBS yet. But I know it does speed up your IP address where everything actually loads faster. And then you just X that out. And now if you witness any problems or something like that, just make sure you do a system, you know, you have like a system restore in the back. Because uh, if you if you have volume problems or anything, it, it should you know or anything like that, which I did witness I had a volume problem. So if you do have like a problem like that, just use System Restore, set it back to its like original state, and just like try, and then do it again. But then again, I had I do have an old computer, but it's an i5. So I really don't have too much of a problem with it. But if you witness any problems, just make sure everything's like working fine after you just try it. And look, I'll show you. Um, once you open up Internet Explorer, Mozilla Fox, you'll see that it loads a lot faster. And I'm actually using an Optimum Wi-Fi 
and optimal Wi-Fi has like very uh they have like a little lag to it. I don't know if it's my computer or the Wi-Fi itself, but it has something to do with the IP. And there you go, like one two three, Facebook, or one two three, Google, Google.com. There you go. And then yeah, let's go in. And you're ready to go. And, uh, I think that's all I have to say about this. But if you witness any problems, just make sure you use System Restore and restore it back to the original state. Um, you know, if you have any problems with, like, the volume or anything, because I did witness a problem with the volume before. But like, after I did it this, you know, after I used System Restore and did it again, it was fine. And as you can see, I'm fine right now. So, I'm actually recording this through webcam. And, uh, yeah. This actually helps tremendously with, uh, if any problems that you have with the IP address. But I don't know if it'll give you the exact amount of time. But when you're broadcasting on Twitch, I think it actually helps. Alright. So. But. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this helps a lot of people with Windows 10. This is after the anniversary update. Today is the 27th, 8-27, 2017. So if this video is like very old or so, there's possibly, you know, they may have made updates. But for now, there's Windows 10 until there's another operating system. Yeah. It should work. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.